in this session we'll discuss about the document database okay so we have different kinds of databases like mm -hmm. relational databases object oriented relational databases normal databases key value databases graph databases document databases we have different kinds of databases so today's our topic is document database so as the name suggests it is a database which have which have document as a database which is a document of a database right wait a minute now we'll see the definition of the document database so in previous versions that means in a rdbms in rdbms we designed the table completely with the rows and columns so in the last session when i told you the key value database i told you that the database is nothing but collection of tables these tables are nothing but for example say student number and student name so student number consists of 1 and 2 and student name consider as a and b now this is a relational model this is a relational model like this i have lecturer table scholarship management table examination table like this i have different different kinds of tables all these tables togetherly called as a data base right so the databases are of different types so in that the relational database is nothing but the tables are data is stored in the form of tables so this relational database is useful when you have a structured data that means so all are of what all this is a text type this is a text type this is also text type text type text type and all these tables have relation between one and another but whereas your document database is not like your relational database so this document database is a non relational database relational in the sense tables non relational in the sense not to be used tables so the data must not be in the form of table instead it stores the data in a fixed rows and columns document databases uses flexible document that means what document in the sense for example if i want to convert this table into document so how to how i write like that i write like this in a paper i'll write first a student name student number student name student number student name if this student table have a relations with the lecturers consider the lecturer table as lecturer number lecturer subject so what i have in this student document the details of the students are there so student details are there in the same manner lecturer number i'll write here and lecturer subject also i will write here only so this is a lecturer details that means this document database allows us instead of making multiple tables what the relation you have between two tables will be treated as a single document only multiple types of tables create chesthe em avutundi manam proper relationship ni maintain cheyalsi ostundi maybe join operation perform chese computational speed anedi taggochu that means more computation is required and more conditions are required but in the document database it is not necessary to have a text data only only text data ne undali only graph e undali only picture e undali anna rule emi ledhu so everything to be treated as a document only so normal ga relational model lo ni vanta manam rows and columns an maatladtam but in the document database most popular alternatives are tabular that means tab steps i mean paragraph model lo data anedi document lo untundi kabatti these document databases are better than the relational databases so actually we'll see what is mean by a document okay so document is nothing but a record in a document database see in the student database this is a student database this is what our student database in this student database what you are calling this is student one record 
this is student two record in a relational model whereas this is a document model so in this document model a record is nothing but a document and then the if first the idoka document then idoka document so man relational model lo vachesi record anta document database lo vachesi a record ne document anta okay so a document typically stores about one object and any of its related metadata that is nothing but object in the sense anything in the real world we call it as a object right for example i have a document of employee i have a document of employee so in this document what the content will be there so here employee is a object and its related metadata metadata is nothing but information about the data so here data is what employee employee information is nothing but metadata like employee number right employee number employee number 7 employee name i say it as x y z and address of the employee like nizamabad gautam nagar some bus stand like that so all these are what all these are the different kinds of information of the employee now we'll treat this document as a record in the document database so relational model lo chese record antam document model lo chese dinni document antam ante document database lo prathi record ni document and specify chestam okay document stores the data in the field of values and pairs now consider here one example i have written id equals to 1 first name is equals to tom email address is equals to tom cell number that means what what you are writing employee number 1 employee name xyz so this we call it as a key this we call it as a value so in the document we store the information in the form of key and value so and the values may be of different types and structures like strings numbers dates so here look here this is a date type data right this is a array type data this is a business data that means in one document we can also write another document also and these documents can stored in the formats like json and bson and xml so this json is nothing but javascript object notation whereas this bson is nothing but binary javascript object notation so this is nothing but binary binary json so this is nothing but binary json are there very little differences we have between json and bson so we'll discuss that the difference between json and bson in later sessions so what all these all these are the different formats of a document so for format and tnt for example pdf is one format right jpeg is one format png is one format dot mp3 is one format mp4 is one format right so for example if you want to store a text file what we do we write txt if you want to store a format of pdf we write what pdf all these are different formats available in the market similarly these documents are available in json format P bson format and xml formats so below is is a json document that stores the information about the user named tom here i have written the example of the tom so what i am doing here tom details completely i am writing in a document so this entire thing is called as one document next we'll see about collections so collections is nothing but as a name suggests a group of documents is called as a collection so group of documents you are saying so tom details right uh, pinky details and radha details sham details all these details all these individual documents if you are putting together this is called as what collection collections typically stores documents that have similar content similar content in the sense what you are writing in tom in tom you are writing tom address tom uh, phone number tom mail id write that similarly for the pinky also you write 
similarly for the pinky also you write name of the candidate address of the candidate date of birth email address phone number so for this four candidates the same information you gather and you put into the documents all these documents together we call it as a collection so not all documents in a collection are required to have the same fields because document database have a flexible schema in the sense what for the term for this term you are writing name address say date of birth but for this pinky write name address mobile number date of birth and like pin code for this radha you write name uh, salary designation uh, land mobile number land phone number that means all these are what all these are the different fields of the different candidates this document database allows us different kinds of data types so ikkada enti tom lo edaithe details teeskunnamo ichchamo pinky lo kuda ave details undali ratha lo kuda ave details undali sham lo kuda ave details undalanna rule emi ledhu it's to be a document everthi sambandhinchina data entha available ga unte information antha manam aa document lo place cheyali flexible scheme ante kachithanga andar dantlo data date undali ఖచ్చితంగా అందరి దాంట్లో ఆధార్ అడ్రస్ ఉండాలి ఖచ్చితంగా అందరిది నేమ్ ఉండాలి అన్ని అన్ని డాక్యుమెంట్స్ లో అన్ని దాంట్లో ఫోన్ నంబరే ఉండాలి అన్ని దాంట్లో ల్యాండ్ నెంబరే ఉండాలన్న రూల్ ఏమీ లేదు ఫ్లెక్సిబుల్ స్కీమా అంటే ఎవరికి డీటెయిల్స్ ఏది కావాలనుకుంటే ఆ డీటెయిల్స్ మనం ఇండివిజువల్ గా స్టోర్ చేయొచ్చు ఓకే నోట్ దాట్స్ అండ్ డాక్యుమెంట్ డేటాబేసెస్ ప్రొవైడ్స్ స్కీమా వ్యాలిడేషన్ ఇఫ్ సమ్ ఆఫ్ ద డాక్యుమెంట్ డేటాబేసెస్ అలౌస్ అస్ ఓన్లీ సేమ్ స్కీమా so then they may be it may be problem otherwise no need to worry about the schemas in the document database now continuing with the above example so tom could be stored in a collection of named users more documents could be added to the user collection in order to store the information about the users for example consider here in previous case we have given the tom id as 1 next we are taking first name next we are taking email address next here what i am writing first i am taking number first name email address and the spouse of this jona and likes what she is liking spas shopping tweeting and what business she do casually reality status of that business and every details so note that the document for the donor does not contain the same fields for the tom that means the tom lo em em fields unnai email address varaku same undi tarvata em undi phone number undi బిజినెస్ ఉంది తర్వాత ఎంటర్టైన్మెంట్ ఉంది డేట్ ఫౌండెడ్ ఉంది బట్ ఇందులో డేట్ ఫౌండెడ్ ఉందా ఉంది రైట్ ఎంటర్టైన్మెంట్ ఉంటుందా లేదు ఓకే సో బిజినెస్ ఉందా ఉంది స్పౌస్ డీటెయిల్స్ ఉన్నాయి దీంట్లో స్పౌస్ డీటెయిల్స్ ఉన్నాయి దీంట్లో స్పౌస్ డీటెయిల్స్ ఉన్నాయా లేవు అంటే ఏంటి ఈ డాక్యుమెంట్ లో ఉన్న ఫీల్డ్స్ కాలమ్స్ ఈ డాక్యుమెంట్ లో లేవు బట్ దిస్ ఈస్ ఏ వన్ డాక్యుమెంట్ దిస్ ఈస్ వన్ డాక్యుమెంట్ అండ్ దిస్ ఈస్ ఆల్సో ఏ వన్ డాక్యుమెంట్ సో లైక్ దిస్ all the documents could be collectively called as collection so there is no rule that every document should have a same schema okay next see compare so in a relational database we call database in the mongo db also for the non structural databases we call database here we call it as a table here we call it as a collection here we call it as a row or we call it as a document in this we call it as a column in this we call it as a field that means terminologies are different for the relational databases for sequels and for the no sequel so ikkada amma ma ikkada table draw chestunna that is what student number same example i am taking every time why because it is easy to understand and student name so here 1 2 a b so this is one row this is one row here row in the sense in the relational schema we call it as a row in the mongo db we will call it as a document so this is document number 1 this is a document number 2 and column this s n o s name are called as columns whereas in the mongo db we call it as a fields so collection of rows so this is row number 1 row number 2 collection of rows we are calling as a table collection of documents we call it as a collection right so in this we call it as a database in this also we call it as a database only so this is a major difference between in a sql schema and no sql schema 
and we also perform different kinds of operations in the mongodb of no sql that is of document database so what operation we can perform i said it as a crude operations it's not crude first one create operation you can perform read operation you can perform update operation you can perform delete operation you can perform so this document databases typically have an api or a query language that allows developers to execute these operations that means what for example if it is of oracle server if it is of oracle server we have a programming language to access the database is sql sql also we call it as that means to access this server the databases of this server are accessed using with the help of the sql commands so we call it as this sql as a query language structured query language so this structured query language is useful for the relational databases only but whereas our document database is not a relational database so you may not use this sql we may use other programming query languages to access this commands like create read update and delete to perform these operations we have a separate query language to perform all these operations right create is nothing but creating a document right reading is nothing but what the data you have reading is nothing but for example consider here tom data we have so in order to read this data we have a query and in order to update already command is there if you want to exist update we can use update command to perform the delete operation we use the delete command so we need to have a separate query language to perform these crude operations in the document database okay next we'll see some of the key features okay already time is up we'll discuss this in the next session